bit more looser. Do you see the disrespect, yo? The disrespect. Like what? Alright, so we about to figure out what we gonna, how we gonna style this. Hey curl friends, I'm back with another video. I'm wearing the same shirt as my last video because it's the same day. I'm just so fired up to get this content out. All right, so I'm gonna be doing flat twist with perm rods at the end using Miss Jessie's Honey Curls. This is my first time using anything by Miss Jessie's. Um, I know people rave about the Pillow Soft Curls, that one. Um, but yeah, I got this in, um, if you watched my unboxing video, I got this in the Curl Fest um, gift bag. So, we're gonna try this out. Let me section this hair out first before I just go right in and put that in. So, I'm doing flat twist down this way. I'm not using a comb. We grown. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like for this style, it don't really matter because you're taking them out. Like, the parts really, really don't matter. So if you want to use a comb, you can. I'm just going in with my fingers. You're just going to move this section out the way. My hair has already been moisturized and stuff. I did all that last night. So we just going to go in with this. So I have it down like that. And then let's see what she's hitting for. Oh, she thick. Oh, this definitely comes out like honey. This for sure. It's like, wow, this is, I mean, I guess that means we gonna have lots of hold, you know? Okay, she smells. She smells good. It smells like, it smells like, um, it's a very, very light smell. Like, it smells good, but it's like a very, like, light, airy smell. You know, oh my God, I'm getting this all over my face. It kind of smells like, like, you know when you get new underwear? <laughs> Like, or just like, okay, not new underwear, but just like, you know, when you get like new clothes, whatever, that's what it kind of smells like. Um, so for a flat twist, I'm going to show y'all how I did the roots again. But for flat twist, you just kind of like, kind of like what you would do with the braid. You're just twisting it. You're twisting the hair down and you're just picking up hair as you go. Because I wanted to do like separate, but I'm just going to do one perm rod at the end. Like twist it all the way down and do, actually no, I won't do perm rods at the end. I'll do bantu knots to show you guys. Actually, I'll do one side with bantu knots, one side with perm rods to show you guys how they look. Um, and you can also, you know, just as an alternative for people who are tender headed or just don't like, you know, sleeping with perm rods in, you can do bantu knots at the end. So section out the hair. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then she thick, y'all. I feel like this is enough. And then once again, 
Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> Same thing with cornrows. You grab a little piece of hair up top. And for me, as I bring it under is when I grab more hair. Well, it has to be when you go under that you grab more hair because you're going down. But <laughs> so yeah, as you go under, you grab more hair. Then I just like to, you know, move my fingers down to just get any tangles out the way as I go. And then to do a bantu knot, you just kind of like twist. And then eventually it starts to just, it will like wrap itself around and you just follow that. Alrighty. I move quick, y'all. I don't be playing when it comes to my hair. Like, back in the day, like, when I would first start, it would take me mad long. Like, I would be watching shows in between. I would get up, go eat food. Like, now, it's like, if I'm doing my hair, bro, I'm not doing anything else. This is so funny to me. <laughs> I've been, like, a lot more generous with the product just because I want to make sure this comes out good but it was curling very at least this side was curling pretty nicely like i took one out just to put a little bit more product in and it was like super fluffy and like it definitely it looked good okay so once again showing you guys how i do this And once you get that to the end, it's just like a regular twist from here. Grab a perm rod, wrap the hair around, and start to roll it up. Once you feel like you're far enough, bam. Alrighty, then I just put my bonnet on. Honestly, I need a new bonnet. Um, if you guys know a brand that has any good ones, comment them below. Or if you're a brand watching this video and you have bonnets, send me one please. Okay, thanks. Alrighty, catch you guys in two days. <sighs> good morning, y'all, good morning. Hold on, my face is dry. Let me just. So it's been three days and we're here. Um, need some oil to make sure this don't come out frizzy. Um, I'm actually going to try out something different because it's really humid outside. It's about to rain later and I'm going to be outside. Obviously, I can't slap on a wig and do an alternative style because i got these perm rods in my head. So I'm just playing right now i'm playing but we're gonna try something and see if it works okay so i don't have anti-humidity hairspray but i do have garnier fructis and anti-humidity um smoothing milk so we're gonna see if this works 
Um, so instead of oil, I'm going to put this in my hands while I take out my hair. Consistency is like this. And hopefully, okay, the hair is not crunchy. Ooh. So the bantu knot side came out really good so far. Miss Jessie did what she had to do. Okay. And then I'm just like smoothing the hair milk like through it to make sure but not too much so that it becomes, you know, like fluffy. Like I already see one part like kinda being disrespectful. Okay. Let's keep going. Bro, it's this one piece being problematic. Okay, we're gonna tuck her in. We're gonna tuck her in because we are not gonna be embarrassed today. Absolutely not. Like, who the hell? Oh my god, the back is being a mess. The back is being a mess, y'all. I already. It's fine. We are fine. We are a okay. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Are you kidding me? Not today. No, sir. Taking a little bit more. Just very lightly, using that to like zhuzh the hair. And a little, <laughs> and a little zhuzh, you feel me? Okay, fluffing that out. And like what I love about flat twists is that you don't really need to fluff it out because it already kind of like does the work for you. Like you don't need to pick it out, you don't need to, you know, fluff out the parts, none of that. It literally comes out and does it all for you like if you want it bigger you can fluff it out but otherwise it already comes out with mad volume flat twist is really like an amazing style like once you get a hang of actually doing the flat twist it's so easy so amazing like hands down one of my favorite styles and i don't do it enough but honestly i should Cause the hair don't even come out tangled either. Okay, this is the perm rod side. Let's see what the bantu knot side. Um, this is the perm rod side. This is the bantu knot side. Let's see what the perm rod side is heading for. I'm low key, <laughs> a little nervous. Let me just take all the perm rods out first, and then. Um, Already it's, mm. oh no, it's okay. Okay. Oof, I don't know. Oh wait, no, okay, she curled fine. <laughs> I mean, that's how she was looking last week too and she embarrassed me. So I'm not even about to get my hopes up with these perm rods. But honestly, it's really, it's not the perm rods. They do the same thing for every style. It is the technique. So I should really be blaming myself, but that is beside the point. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna stop twisting my hair and perm rounding it for real. This looks... It's giving Medusa again. But we're fine. We're just gonna... Oh. I was hoping this wouldn't happen where my hair looked different on either side. But such is the life of a content creator. So the perm rod side, so far, is like longer. Like she's giving wash and go versus like this is like, okay, like shorty did you know a little roller set or something. Oh my god, okay. We're just gonna keep going. We are just gonna keep going. So now we have to figure out how to style this. 
because the two sides definitely look different. Is it me? <laughs> like, am I the issue here? Because I'm the common denominator of both these hairstyles. I... <laughs> yeah, no, if you're doing this hairstyle, do the bantu knots. Don't put no damn perm rods in your head. Um, at first glance, this side is like a lot more looser than this side. Like you actually see like curls, spirals here. Um, I just... And do a little twist in the front. And nice and tight flat twist. I don't know, man. People be using bobby pins and they be getting their hair to stay nice and tight and down. And my hair just be like, oh, well, that's cute. You put a bobby pin in it. That's cute. Like, what's that supposed to do? And I'll be like, bro, come on. Okay. Haha. -ha. What did I say? What did I say? No weapon formed against me shall prosper, period. No bad hair day shall prosper. Not in this household. Not on this channel. Not on this channel. We don't have bad day hair days here. Period. Period. Straight like that. That's it. It's at 49 seconds. I'm going to record my outro now just in case when I come back I'm not feeling my hair. But this is the finished look. This side is the Bantu knots. This side is the perm rod. She's already acting a little funny. Um, and as a recap, I used Miss Jessie's Honey Curls. Um, I think that was the name of it. Hold on. It's Jessie's Honey Curls. And this is my first time using the product. It says it's good for perm rods. Um, now we know that was a lie <laughs> i mean it was good no it was definitely good on this side not for her for bantu knots it was great for bantu knots so far i'm feeling it you know i did a cute little hairstyle I usually just wear my hair out i never try like hairstyles so i'm excited about this this is cute let me know how y'all how y'all are feeling about this in the comments um you know the vibes like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next week or in a few days maybe in a few days we'll see how i get this vlog up and running it might just be like wednesday or thursday who knows <laughs> i know why i have this much energy it's 8 a.m i slept for like three hours but yeah all right guys bye <laughs>